Hello, Macintosh enthusiasts. This is uh, me again, and I'm going to explain to you how to make a USB stick to install OS X Lion for a Dell D620 Latitude. One, two, three, click. You need to pick the right size RAM stick or USB stick or flash drive, however you want to say it. This is case is going to be a 16 gig micro. You want to put it in your laptop and you want to already have Snow Leopard installed at least or some kind of thing that has disk utility on it. And you're gonna to need to download Lion from the App Store. Okay, once you've done that, then you can use disk utility to format your USB stick. So here I am in, US, uh, in disk utility. I'm gonna partition uh, with one partition and I'm going to wipe it out. I'm gonna name it um, something clever like OS 10 USB install, something like that, I don't know. I'm gonna make sure that my GUID, GUID partition table is working. I'm going to say okay. And then I'm going to click apply to format. After that is complete, you will have an OS 10 formatted USB install stick, empty of course, and um, we're going to need to go to, since this is for Dell Latitude, I'm going to go to os10latitude.com and I'm going to download the latest EDP um, file, which allows you to uh, install for your particular laptop. So I'm going to get the EDB file for EDP file for Lion. I'm going to download that, and um, we're going to get a couple files here to get our Lion installed onto the USB stick. And oh look, my old downloads. <laughs> and uh, we're going to show and find a copy of that to the desktop. And then we're going to go to Tony Mac X86. You're going to have to register for an account to go to the downloads. It's not a big deal. Once you're there, you go to downloads and go um, to, we want XMove. It's a clever little program they've written, written to um, actually install the, the Lion installation onto USB stick. So that's why it's called XMove. Um, as, as I've filmed this, it's 1.1 version and um, it works great. I've done it a few times. There's my download of OS X Lion from the App Store. I'm gonna show package, right click or control click, go to contents. And there'll be a file in the shared support folder called install ESD. And you mount that, and that will allow XMove to install the files from there. See, it mounted it. It looks like an install CD or something. And then um, you go ahead and run X. Oh, I guess I'm going to do the EDP package first. That's right. I'm kind of narrating this video after the fact just so I could. Uh, use a better quality mic and uh, easy, it's just easier to do. Uh, I was going to have just music, but I, uh, you know, I thought I'd do this. So anyway, I'm going to install, uh, oh, that's right. We're going to install the EDP on our, on our Dell first. And what we're going to do is we're going to disable um, sleep enabler and um, something else. Uh, so, so when we copy the extra folder to the USB stick, it will, it won't have any troubles. So here we are installing EDP from OS X Latitude. Great little tool for any, any uh, Dells out there. That, uh, you can see the models there, 420. I have a 620 with Intel, so that's, that's mine. And I'm gonna uh, go ahead and choose the, uh, the drivers I want to use. I always use number four, the NV Slice Modified. I use the Null Management. I use the Sleep and Labor. And we're gonna say no at this point because uh, might mess up the installation. We're gonna use the Voodoo battery, uh, speed step, sure. Is this correct? Yes. And then may the force be with you. It's going to create, it's using a rebuild script. Thanks to the great and clever guys at OS 10 Latitude that uh, get that together and every time there's an update, they figure it out how to get it to work. I don't, and uh, I'm, I'm a, actually a tester for them. And it's great fun, especially if you have a a latitude that you want to make into a Hackintosh. Uh, highly recommend trying it if, if, if you got the time and the hard drive space. It's, it's pretty cool. All right, anyway, um, here we are back. It's installed. We're going to, oops, going to hit Q to quit. All right, 
And then we're going to go to the X move, I believe. Um, what am I doing here? I don't remember. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Oh, we're copying the extra folder to the USB stick, the one we just made with the EDP 2.1. Right. So that copies to the um, USB stick, and then I believe then we get to run XMove. So here we are. We're going to run XMove. Um, and since the OS 10 install ESD is mounted, it will find it and be able to copy it over to the USB stick XMove plus MultiBeast, which is, helps install a lot of good things. We're going to agree it's a retail app store install, although I think we need to do the retail drive install uh, thumb drive. Because you can also buy this from as a thumb drive from Apple, which is 69 I believe, $69, twice as much as if you were just to buy it from the Apple store. Anyway, you're going to select the USB to install XMove on. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, we've got to do the retail. There we go. Continue. And then that will copy X, uh, all your Lion files onto your USB stick, and then you install Chameleon to it, so it'll boot up, and you're ready to go. And you can get Chameleon from the link below this video. I'll use ChampList to get the latest version, and then it works great. Good luck, and happy hackintoshing. Thank you.